Hi friends, it's teacher Kristen. I am here to read you another story today. Today's story is about a little boy and the pet that he gets. Let's see what the name is. It's called Not Norman, a goldfish story by Kelly Bennett. Ooh, I see lots of goldfish on that page. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. Hmm, what kind of pet do you think that he wanted? I see some balloons over here and on one of them, what is this? A dog, and on this one, you read a cat. The book here says your fish and you. It looks like maybe he got him as a birthday present. I wanted a pet who could run and catch or one who would climb trees and chase strings. A soft furry pet to sleep on my bed at night. Not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. This is it Norman, I decide. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. Look, you can see his bowl has all the algae on it. How does Norman look? He doesn't look very happy. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping, flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I have to laugh. Don't think just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman, asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. Uh-oh, what's happening down here? What are those puppies doing? <gasps> They're drinking Norman's water. By the time I rescue Norman, half his water is gone. Oh, poor Norman. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me all googly-eyed. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about my goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone, who let my snake loose? <gasps> Here he is, he's trying to do his show and tell and he has a sign that says, Norman, one amazing fish. But her snake is gone. Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No, they're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman, he's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. You see his eyes, they're looking right at him and he has a little smile on his face. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. I glance over at Norman, he is swaying back and forth. Glug, 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 he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. It says bum 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 ba ba bum bum ba booby. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it is too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. What do you friends think? Is he gonna take Norman to the pet store tomorrow? I don't know. That night, I'm sound asleep when scratch, scratch. What's that noise? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Yikes, there's something at the window. Then out of the corner of my eye, I spot. What's he going to see? I'm kind of scared. Norman! He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. 
Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and birds. I look at the hamsters and mice and lizards too. They all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. What do you think, friends? Is he gonna pick a different pet or is he gonna keep Norman? I think you're right. I think he's gonna keep Norman. When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. Look, he put his sign on top of his new tank that says, Norman, one amazing fish. Here he is playing his tuba for him and Norman is singing along. Friends, I thought that story was so fun. I'm glad that he decided to keep Norman. Norman seems like a great pet. I hope you have a good day. Bye, friends.